The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. At this point, I think what I'd like to do is let everybody take a microscope and kind of repeat the sequence of, of events that I've done and basically line up your laser, engage the tip, and get it to a surface. And let's say today the goal is I'm going to give everybody a, a candy that's used for imaging and a sample with some uh, dried bacteria on it. So the goal is to just get, the, get, the, get some images from the scope and see if you can also determine some quantitative information from those images. What, what is the size of the features you're looking at? Can you tell how, how high they are, how wide they are? Um, and we can go from there. And I want to make, might make this a little more interactive and hands-on, so let's just do that, OK? Because uh -oh. it's hard to tell. I actually thought I'd be able to tell just by looking. There's sort of two bright ones here. See, no, both of those look about as bright. <laughs> one of them and, one. and typically, you don't oh, care. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I mean, let me, uh, even let's if you want to use Maxine's little trick. If you want to use okay. one and then I'll try switching to the other one, typically they're oh, flexible oh, and robust oh, enough that right. you've been doing so is that one, one and the other one is just kind of going along for the ride. Right. Like that's what I want. Yeah. You don't usually be on the 400 first and so longer and it's just a 325 laser. Yeah, it, it depends. Some, it, you know, the, there's well, yeah, various right, reasons right. where there might I, be some dirt or things might not be that great or whatever. So, so what do you think like that? Okay, so let me just I'm going to come down. Have, have everybody take a look through here and just make sure you all surrounding a rectangular structure. And then you'll see these fluidic things going in. Okay. So the big circle is what you see out with the naked eye. That's just the big, um, it's the, uh, it's, it's a cutout for the O-ring which the fluid cell is going to use. And then in the middle of the big rectangular structure, that's the dye that actually has the cantilevers and keep watching and you know, turn off the laser. Now, I can zoom you oh, in, there's even little lines on and there. if you see. adjust the focus, let's just not here, you should be able to see, kind of at a moderate zoom, you should be able to see this the cantilever space on the left there. And you'll see this middle long one with two short ones on the sides. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. So I think everybody can take a look. And those are, those are the probes that will be using the function. And again, it usually helps if you turn the laser on because it sort of points to the, it's like, it's like a laser pointer. <laughs> and then you can turn it off for clearer sight of, of the structure itself. So this is there's three things. You see three things. But maybe one's a reflection. I see dead candles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let me try adjusting the light. Yeah, the, it's, it's sometimes hard, to, when you're first looking in, it's hard to sort out what the reflections are, where the sample is. Yeah, this reverse right in the shape, is that what I was saying? Oh, yes, of course. It moves it up an inch, you got it away out. Exactly. It's like this grading, and then there are these two things here. Precisely. Yes, exactly. Yes. I guess the only way I can see it here is to see the Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So we got the new. There's three things for each one. And each one. Yeah. And then uh, I think we can do your little zero mode trick. Oh, cool. Okay. And so I think we're aligned on the detector. And the okay. But how do we. Um, but now I'm being supported by the. By the height of the microscope. Oh, there. Okay. So yeah, now I can try see our setup. Is this the kind of thing that's going to down to make it shorter? Yeah. No. Can you like one bit of like the other way to make it shorter? Yeah, yeah our, the, the Zeiss spectrum we had, you could just turn those oh, over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 Yeah, this is the zoom, this is the focus. So if you go, if you uh, zoom too far, uh, it, it gets distorted because then the optics are, yeah, the angle's not that good. So mm -hmm. I usually I zoom like three quarters of the way. Oh, but what we, you can see actually, so if you turn the laser on and off, you'll see that that's actually a differential pair and I have to give you a, Oh, we have the wrong. Uh, the oh, good. <laughs> well, we'll see how to mount it. Yeah. 
So, um, Goodness, how do you why do you guys make sure that that <laughs> you really Oh, laser off, laser off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser. It does. Oh, well, not like okay. laser. You want to try lining it? Yeah, I'm changing. I'm going to laser changing. I'll just turn this yeah. maybe a quarter turn left, which is down. So, so I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to go to the left. Why is the left beam on the other side? Was that our two or one? So, I'll just draw it a little bit. I'll just make sure when I do this. This might be. That little ball of glue back here is just sort of easier to manipulate. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Now, last point, which is probably obvious, but the cantilevers should be so when you have the die, right? If you look at the side, there's a surface where the cantilevers are, and then there's the bottom, and they're not down here, right? So when you're keeping them in the box, they obviously need to be up here because if you flip them over, they're dead. They lie on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that's you the way. Turn them over between storage and. No, that's a, you don't. You that's don't the way they go in because they should be up so that when you flip it over. Oh, it down. oh, oh, oh you're putting okay. it in the bottom right. Okay. Okay. Right now. Okay. okay. <coughs> so Ooh. then this just sits right in here, and uh, now good luck finding your laser. Um, Sweet, we, we had a laser alignment question. Good. And then do I want to put the? Do I want to put? Yeah, you want to yeah. put those down and. Just let them kind of sit sit on the on the glass there and clamp it down a little bit. All right, now we get to so the That's right. If we move the um, we were, yeah, we were too. We get this sort of brick, we get this sort of okay. brick building we patterns down, where uh -huh. the the lines are kind of alternating Let's in their uh, lateral position. Huh? Right. So is, is one of these better than oh, the other? Because you, you get two different ones, mm -hmm. one here oh, and one here, which are equally good. Those are okay. So. It's a little bit, it takes a little bit of just practice to get used to what you're looking for. Let me, let me make a note. So you're, you're currently adjusting the knob, not that there's anything wrong with it, anything wrong with it, but when you're looking here, so as I mentioned, these are going to be the ones that move orthogonally, this way and this way. Right. This one is going to move it this way. weird angle. Yeah. So that's all. But um, all, all I did was center it in turn the middle of its. Um, yeah. Of its so yeah, let so me describe what's going on. So, yeah, so the, remember how? So this this is gonna oh, no, kind uh, of give you that adjustment. No, this no, is gonna no, no, do. No, no. This see how when course. I turn it, it, it has much less effect. Right. Yep. And that's because in this axis, there. If you move the laser this way, you're following kind of an equi whatever. Right. You're, you're hitting more of the grading, but not. Right, so you're basically moving it along a line of equal oh, right. relative displacement. So and so 
Uh, so when you move it this way, you'll have very little uh, change in the modes. Very slight, but as you move across the entire grading, it's going to change very little. If you move it side to side, right, you'll see that huge fluctuation, and you might even go through two different fringes before you leave the grading. Okay? What you ideally want is you want to get to a point where you don't have to choose by just looking at this what point to operate at. That's going to be determined by looking at your force curve. Right? So as long as you can see the modes and as long as when you move side to side, what you see is pretty much the whole mode going from right to dark. Okay. Here we have a slight that if you look at the bottom, you the see there's dark. a slight so it pick up. The, the dark kind of starts on the left, see if I'm going to go slowly, it starts on the left and then moves into the middle and then goes kind of out the yeah. right side. So that's not good. It's, it's okay. It's acceptable. All because right. mostly when, it's, when it changes brightness, it's the middle section and it's kind of almost entirely... But it's still, there is a little bit of lateral movement. So uh, on, the, on the cantilever, is the gravy, is the gravy going down the cantilever or parallel to the walls? It's, uh, let's go over here. Oh, yeah, I, I don't I'm know. trying to figure out how the, uh, why are you? So right now, way back. There it is. Okay, so that's on the, oh, okay, so that's what that speckly, that, that's what that is. Okay, okay, all right. Actually, that's a good thing to know because that's, that's a good landmark. Yeah. That's what I, to find myself, that's what I usually uh -huh. do is I end up back there. Okay. Okay, and then I know that I need to walk off the chip. That's so right. And I'll know when I fall off the chip, and then I want to scan this that way may, yeah. the lever. That totally makes sense. I don't know how it'll look here, but... Uh, well, you can definitely see you walk off. Okay, so now I've walked off the chip. Yeah, that's, that's very visible. Okay, and... I don't know where the true spot is, but if you... So right now, I think I'm not... Right now, I think I'm on the big cantilever. You're on the cantilever. I'm not on the cantilever. I can believe that. Do you? And now I think I'm walking off of it. The length, you know, continues. Walking down it, okay. Yeah, so now I'm just shining in the air. Oh, you walked all the way off the end. That's, okay. That's what I think. Okay. And now. So we're gonna get tour here. <laughs> now I think I've walked. So now you have to go off to the side off. to the because you know you know what this thing looks like, right? Yeah. Okay, so you need to walk onto the um, so um, onto the brain. That that dark spot across the road. Okay. So right now I think. Oh, it's, oh that was I'm looking good there. I think this is the green. Yep. 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 You are. You definitely are. Yeah. So I. I, what I've it's done is I've put myself intuitive. on the top most gradient. You just have to kind of learn to adjust it. This is the Yeah, absolutely. Range. Can I watch while you put yourself on the bottom gradient? Absolutely. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm just going to loosen the set it's screw for this lens. Here, yeah. Yeah, now I'm on the okay. bottom. And now, the so watch the nodes, okay. and I'm going to show you what I was talking about. Yeah, okay. If I slide, this, this, is, this is a very, very uh, touchy adjustment. Okay. But How about what? So yeah, caveat. Just, <laughs> so the original design for this actually involved a grading, adjustable an adjustable plate, yeah. so the Thorlite yeah. sells a component where you can have a screw that oh. moves this plate okay. axially mm -hmm. along the rods. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That turned out to be actually so too annoying because it was thing, too yeah. slow of an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Because it had a full range of a millimeter and it took, you know, like 50 turns to get through the millimeter. So right. it was a really, right. it, was, oh. it was too good. I find it easier to do oh, it by hand. That's right, he was saying. But it might be just because I have. That's, that's why it changes. <laughs> well, okay. So oh, I've just right. shoved the that's plate up a little ways. Yeah, yeah. So look at the modes now. You see how they've got that beam and yeah. that black yeah. stretch yeah. angle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. And you can walk see this total brick. Yeah. That, that was the brick building. Yeah. Too, right? But this is this is significantly worse than what you were seeing because at no point is any mode fully bright or fully so dark. One and and there's there. that very pronounced lateral yeah. motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. What I'm trying, what I try to do is adjust this until I stop, like, 
I do it very slowly in a kind of joggly way, sort of way I like kind of juggle it oh, yeah. until I start seeing that the, the bright and dark will cover.